Hello, in this presentation I will introduce you to the HR schema. I have connected to Oracle using SQL Developer and the HR connection. I'm going to open the tables we see in the panel on the left. And here we have the seven tables that make up the HR or Human Resources schema. We'll start with employees. We'll select that table. Here we have the column data, employee ID, first name, last name, email, etc. We can click the data tab to take a look at the employee data. Those are the employees we have stored in the table. Let's go back to the column data. And we notice there is a job ID. The job ID connects the employees table to the jobs table. Here we have the jobs table and we have the job ID and the job title. We also have a job history table. The job history table would track the employment history of this employee by the employee ID and the job ID. Let's go back to employees. We also notice in the employees table department ID. This connects the employees table to the departments table. Let's take a look at departments. Here we see the department ID and the department name. We can take a look at the data. Those are the various departments that we have. We'll go back to the columns. Notice the location ID. This will tie the department into a location on the locations table. This would contain, for example, the street address of the department and the city. Notice we have a country ID column that connects the location to the particular country. So let's take a look at the countries table. Here we have our columns, country ID, country name, region ID. Take a look at the data. There we have the various countries. We'll go back to the columns and notice that we have finally a region ID. This connects us to the seventh and final table, the regions table. And the region table contains the region data, for example, the region name. And we can take a look at uh, what our regions are. There we go, Europe, Americas, Asia, and Middle East and Africa. So those are the seven tables in the HR schema.